when your friend is leaving so you wanna stir crap up for the last time. Oscar Piastri waking up to Alpine's statement. The driver market a week ago. The drive market now. He joined Alpine. Until he didn't. Ricardo reading Piastri's statement on Twitter. Chuckles, I'm in danger. Welcome Oscar Piastri. Piastri joins the Peacocks from Alpine F1. Did you get his permission? Did Alpine? It's so bad, but when men stand in front of things they destroy. Ricardo, Piastri, Herter and Palau all driving one McLaren in 2023. Ocon having to drive two Alpines. Whatever the fudge is going on at Alpine right now. Lawrence Stroll buying his son a go-kart. They thought they signed him? Yeah, all laughing. Daniel, McLaren, I'm gonna pay you 15 million dollars to fudge off. Ah oh, crap they're back. Oh no, anyway. McLaren, so, you were going to Alpine all this time and you didn't even tell me, Beastry, I didn't even know. Are you two friends? Beastry, no, Alpine. Yes. Box box stay out stay out. Stop inventing. Box max. Yes. Alonso joining Aston Martin with a multi-year contract. Esteban failing to defend like a lion. Meanwhile in the Bonotto's family holiday. Dad, there is a clown under my bed. Could you check? Why did you post that signed Oscar Piastri? Prior to our meeting yesterday you said we have Oscar Piastri. It was Otma's turn to bring snacks. I said we were having Otma's pastries. Ah fudge I missed pastries too. You really fudged El Plan. Every F1 journalist rewriting their breaking news article for the 7th time in 4 hours. The floor is an Alpine contract. Oscar. Kaboom. Alonso. Yes Oscar Kaboom. Try to play Alonso and Piastri against each other to get a good deal. Alonso leaves. Announce Piastri for 2023 without his consent. Alpine loses both Alonso and Piastri. Otmas face after ensuring we have meme content during the summer break. Coming back to F1 after a week off. Piastri driving for Alpine. Alonso for Aston Martin. Latifi fastest in FP3. Piastri rejecting Alpine. George Pohl. Seb retiring. Signed for Alpine for the 2021 and 2022 season. Outperform your teammate. Get boycotted by the team in 2022. Join Aston Martin without telling Alpine. Convince Alpine's young driver to stab them in the back as well. Watch them burn together. Zach Brown when it's gone 5 seconds since he last signed a driver under contract with another team. Bait indie drivers with possible F1 seat that will never happen. Trick F1 viewers into kinda paying attention to indie. Steal Piastri from your championship rival instead, it was the plan all along. Time it perfectly, so they lose Alonso too. Pay Danny Rick 15 million dollars to kick rocks, money has no value anymore because your entire car is covered in stickers. Returns to F1. Helps his teammates to get his first win. Returns to podium after 7 years. Refuses to be used as a seat warmer. Leaves the team for the 9th fastest car. Alpine. I declare Piastri is driving for us next year. Piastri. You can't just say my name and expect anything to happen. I didn't say it. I declared it. Alonso joins Aston Martin from 2023. Alonso after the first race. We are gonna be the biggest clowns this year. Hold my freaking dear. Piastri. Alonso. Otma. So you see, that's where the trouble began. That smile. That damned smile. Disturbing image from McLaren labor camp, where thousands of youths are forced to sign contracts for up to 16 hours per day 2022. Me. Thinking it would be a calm summer break. Alpine. Fernando Alonso carefully crafting the most diabolical mess you've ever seen. Alonso leaving the team without telling them. Piastri being announced as a driver and denying it 40 minutes later. Jokes of Gasly going to Alpine. Ocon. I believe in Hanna Schmidt's supremacy. 
when you realize that Lance Stroll is now mathematically out of the driver's championship. McLaren. Alpine. Aston. Seb retiring. Alonso. Weber. Other F1 teams. F1 fans. IndyCar drivers. Beastry. Alpine. Two tards fighting. When you're not the most controversial team just two days after Hungary disaster class. Zach Brown. Ricardo. Me. Trying to figure out what the heck Alpine is doing right now. You lost Fernando Alonso and Oscar Piastri in the first two days of the summer break? I'm not even mad. That's amazing. I'm the dumbest F1 team alive. I lost Alonso and Piastri in the span of 24 hours. You're clearly dumber. Ferrari. We need some distraction from our incompetence. Fernando. What can I say except, you're welcome. I would never be a sin. At your service my queen. And then an hour after their announcement, Oscar said it's not true at all which then started rumors about McLaren. We didn't think twice before destroying Sebastian's career and he was a four-time world champion. Who are you? Alonso leaves you for a green crap box. Panic. You just signed Pierce Street. Calm. Pierce Street doesn't want to drive your crap box. Panic. Bonotto when he sees Leclerc and Zach Brown dining at a restaurant in Monaco. Alpine announcing Piastri. Piastri denying his seat. Alonso on a boat. McLaren. Piastri. Alpine. Alonso. Ocon. Alpine. Oscar Piastri will be driving for us next season. Oscar Piastri. No, I don't think I will. Alonso joins Aston Martin. We give seat to Piastri. Piastri signs with McLaren. What's going on at Alpine? Tried to strong arm Alonso without securing Piastri first. Might lose both of them. Why would Alpine do this? I looked forward in time. I saw 14,605 futures. How many have Ferrari with competent strategists and reliable engine? Zero. Breaking. Screw Deria Ferrari to invite Otnus Snaffola as chief transfer strategist. Piastri. Alpine. I'm not driving for you noobs lol. Alpine announcing Piastri for 2023. Piastri. Fighting for the F1 championship with Red Bull. Ferrari. Fighting for the clown championship with Alpine. You go to Aston Martin because that is the only available seat left. I go to Aston Martin just to fudge over Otmar and Alpine. We are not the same. Your day if you subscribe and like this video.